from two of the biggest boy bands in history, NSYNC's Lance Bass and Backstreet Boy AJ McLean. So as BBBFFs, and for those that don't know, it's a boy band Best Friends Forever. And by the way, I have your bracelet here. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Nothing has brought us closer than our love of iHeartRadio's Artist of the Year, Miss Taylor Swift. Yes. 2023 was the year for Swifties when she wasn't on the highest grossing tour in history. She still found time to give her fans three albums. Re-releasing and reimagining her classic albums, 1989, and Speak Now. Plus recording a brand new one, The Tortured Poets Department. Yeah. It comes out April 19th. Oh yeah. So basically, while she was in the middle of her record-shattering era story, she was already working on her next era. Mm -hmm. That incredible dedication is why we are Swifties. Mm -hmm. And why... <laughs> There we are. And yeah. why Taylor Swift is iHeartRadio's Artist of the Year. Hey, I wanted to say thank you so much to anyone who voted for this award. iHeart, you've also just been so incredibly supportive over the course of my entire career, but um, especially this year has been pretty spectacular. I am so grateful for that. Um, you know, to the fans, it's completely up to you to choose how you spend your time, what concerts you want to go to, what music you want to make the soundtrack to your life. And to anyone who has included me in those choices, I'm so, so, so thankful for that. And, um, you know, we have so many exciting things ahead of us. I'm continuing on with the tour. And most importantly, I have a brand new album called The Tortured Poets Department, which comes out on April 19th, and I'm so proud of it. I cannot wait to share it with you. So thank you for voting for me for this incredible honor, Artist of the Year. I am so blown away and so thankful, and um, I just can't wait to keep having fun with you guys because we have a lot of exciting things coming up. Thank you so much.